See, when you uh, deal with the bees, you got to know how he operates, how he moves. And why he's doing what he do. So he's going to get the the African American to fight on his side. Those who refer to themselves as African American. Now he got the Israelites. Fighting on his side. He has the African American Christians. Fighting on the side. Y'all should know by now that uh, America is Satan. <clears throat> Y'all should know by now that America is Satan. So, something strange is happening in L.A. And they kicked Farrakhan off of uh, certain social media platforms. That's because of the fact that Farrakhan was used as a double agent. Farrakhan's weakness was was money. You know. In the Bible, Jesus uh, went in the temples and turned over, whipped the money changers out the temple, turned over the tape, the the, uh, the tables because the temple and the churches are part of the empire's commerce. The gangs are part of the empire's commerce. It's just an underground economy. That's all that is. So now when you go on to Kev, when uh, you listen to Kev Gibbs, listen to him for a while, listen to his callers, they are swaying the they are swaying the callers uh, into uh, a a, a uh, mindset that takes the heat off the LAPD into the neighborhoods to the community activists. That there are Muslims in Y F O Y that are just blind followers. Now, there's several guys that call themselves uh, the Nation of Islam, the New Nation of Islam, that are double agents. What I'm doing is I'm not... against 
those who want, who want to be uh, NOI and Muslims, because they just follow the leadership. What they got to do is they got to really question, instead of being blind followers, who they following. And people hate to do that because they don't want to admit that they are blind followers. Now I'm a I'm a brother that's trying to be upright, trying to be a Muslim. And I want to separate. I'm a follower of Donald Elijah Muhammad. There's others that follow the teachers of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and not Minister Farrakhan and not uh, Son of Man, Marvin, or who, else, who all the other brothers are. But the media, we're going to from time to time show you that the media uh, Phil Donahue they actually put Farrakhan out there for us to say he's the leader, the national representative of the Nation of Islam. And the, and the rest of these brothers that were true followers of uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, they let it go. And then when they stop peeping the real deal on Farrakhan, you know, they knew, they knew Farrakhan was, wasn't cool a long time ago, but they didn't talk loud enough to let you know that he's not a true follower of Donald Elijah Muhammad. So now it's getting critical. Because Uncle Sam want to want to wipe out all traces of Islam, and all the Muslims that's over here, they're not really Muslims, or else they wouldn't have left where they tr truly practice Islam at. But they came over here to make some money. They sell outs. And uh, that's that's all Minister Farrakhan is. But they're getting ready to go to war. Now, once go to war with uh, Iran, they want to go to war with Iran. And Iran be uh, talking to Farrakhan. He be tripping up back and forth over to Iran. So I want y'all to pay attention to uh, this right here. That two former, I don't know if these are CIA, I guess CIA, former CIA officials told NBC News that the U.S. has very specific intelligence uh, on Iran, that is, that it is only able to be reviewed at the CIA headquarters. Hmm. So we, we can't take this evidence over to the White House. You have to come over here to see it. i always a little suspect when they're giving press conferences or, or, or giving press access to what's going on in the CIA. I thought the CIA was the, our uh, kind of covert operations. Yeah, and, and who leaks top secret meetings? Sure. Well, if someone where does it lead to? That's well, another. Well, to the NBC oh, News. That's 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 exactly. Which is owned by Comcast. Which, we, well, we just keep going down that road. But one other thing, something important here. They said that the. Well, you're, you're right. We, we go down that road because it's potentially causing a war, and that's why we keep going. We look at Sheldon Allison, where that peace plan was, you know, laid out. Sure, for Israel, Ohio. Wherever right the, the news is going, follow out who put it there and what yes. avenue. Fox will get their little bit bites. 
CNN will get theirs, MSNBC. So it's, it's important to know which outlet gets it first. Mm -hmm. Now that line about it uh, had to be reviewed at the CIA headquarters, that looks like it may indicate it came from a foreign country. Talking about the intelligence that the CIA is presenting as proof, mm -hmm. you have to wonder what foreign country in the region potentially provided this imagery, documents, or well, that, was, that was reported earlier this week that it came from Israel. Israel. Yes. So that's not a that's not a surprise to me that um, uh, the CIA is um, informing John Bolton. We have you know top secret intelligence from Mossad and Israel showing that Iran is right now planning to attack. American sailors, American soldiers, American bases. And if you heard that story in my opening, uh, the report today is that the U.S. has intelligence that Iranian officials have, have given permission to proxies. That would be Hezbollah, um, the, uh, the, Hamas, the uh, Houthi. The Houthi rebels yes. in Yemen. Uh, go ahead and start using, start using our our rockets start start hitting American ships. Now, you know, really, honestly, are they, that would make the Iranian leadership as crazy as, you know what, I mean. Now, at the same time, they're attacking Minister Farrakhan. So, simultaneously, it's an attack on black black power, and Islam, the nation, the nation of Islam. They want to wipe out the concept of black power, black consciousness. Because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was pushing a black agenda. Pushing black power. Nipsey, Russell, Hustle, excuse me, was using the blueprint that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was laying out. If you study the accomplishments of the Muslims and compare that with the accomplishments of Nipsey Hustle, you'll see that Elijah had an influence. So, Kev Gibbs and all them, they are very clever, but I believe they they gatekeepers. Even the Honorable Minister, Minister Louis Farrakhan or Minister Farrakhan, they was caught calling him the Honorable. Is a double agent. This is Black Light. 